Good morning. It's Sunday morning. Let me show you guys the lake. A little bit of uh, sunrise happening this morning. Still kind of cloudy this morning, but yet I'm able to see the little red of the sun coming up, which is nice. <sighs> okay, let's take a walk. It's about 6.15 in the morning. Um, yesterday was a good day. I went to go see my dad, which was is always awesome. And uh, so now I'm just going to get my little walk in before going in and getting ready for church. I've got my selfie stick. So my angle is weird. Uh, let's see, how did it go yesterday? So yesterday, um, as far as my eating is concerned, I had, um, I kind of did fast, intermittent fast, and around, Noonish, I ate some um, chuck roast that I made. Chuck roast had the chuck roast that I made for myself was about eight ounces. Be quiet, Doc. No, no barking. Shh. Bunny. It's a bunny this morning. We got the bunnies. We got the birds. Hey, no barking. No barking. He's funny. So anyway, five ounces made with just butter and water. I ended up taking a small piece of the roast that I made for everybody else and eating a little bit of that. That roast had a regular gravy on it and I didn't really eat the gravy. It also had onions and seasonings and stuff, but it was probably about a couple ounces to bring my meal up to 10 ounces. I'll tell you that my body is super sensitive. Oh, shh. hey, be quiet. Hold on. My body is super sensitive. Um, I felt gassy also. Uh, my hands are a little itchy this morning from just that little bit. Um, I did get on the scale this morning. I was up a couple of ounces, so not too terrible on the inflammation part, but definitely my hands, I can feel it. Uh, I just have to be more careful. I cannot, you know, let these little things come in and, uh, throw my hands off track because they're already starting to act up after whatever I did last week and then once they start it's really hard to get them to stop going down the road of the blistering and flaking and peeling and all that business so it's kind of like on the road of doing that anyway that's what I did to myself um so, you know, I can feel my hands just itching right now. Such a bummer. Uh, so, yeah, my dad's getting a little older. He is 78, I think. Yeah, 78 years old. And uh, health-wise, not doing that great having some issues. Maybe I'll tell you guys about it sometime. Not today though. Um, having some health issues. So if you're a praying person, please pray for my dad. His name is James. And uh, you know, I told him all about the carnivore diet, why I'm doing it. And uh, 
the benefits that I'm seeing people have. I think he's interested. His doctors have already told him not to do it. I guess he mentioned it to them and they said he can't do it. So, you know, I'm gonna send him a food list. He asked for a food list. So I'm gonna get him a food list together. I'll probably send him a 30 day meal plan and uh, maybe I'll send him some electrolytes. But he has um, chronic heart disease. So has been on blood pressure medicine and all that stuff for a long, a long time, years and years. So, um, I, you know, with the sodium, I'm not sure if he'll take an electrolyte because he's 77 years old and has been taught all of his life that salt is bad for you. It's not that he doesn't eat salt, but you know, to incorporate that much sodium, I'm just not sure if he'll do it. But of course, if he's gonna try a carnivore diet, he really does need to take electrolytes to keep his electrolytes in balance. So I told him, I think, you know, you should try it for 30 days and it's not gonna hurt you to try it for 30 days. And, uh, you know, the worst thing is that can happen is that you're gonna feel a lot better and then you're gonna wanna stay on it. Uh, but it's not gonna hurt you to try it for 30 days. So, we'll see what happens. I hope he decides to do it. I gotta get my my uh, acting gear and make sure I send him the stuff that he asked me for. So, um, I'm not walking very fast uh, because of my knee. Like I really don't want to do like a speed walk, but I'm not because my knee hurts. So I'm taking, a, taking it slow uh, and I'm just walking at a kind of a slow pace. <laughs> I'm not doing a, you know, 10 minute mile or nothing, 15 minute mile, actually not doing that either. So I guess I'm doing the best I can with what I got. My knee is bothering me. So I'm just taking it slow. Walking this at a regular pace, not too fast, not super slow. So that's the thing that I've been thinking about is that I would like to walk faster, but my knee hurts. <laughs> so yeah, I don't really have a topic for this morning. Um, I, you know, I'm going to give you guys the results of my one week uh, on my July challenge tomorrow, but uh, just, uh, just to give you a little insight um i did lose a couple of pounds i'm sure it's water weight but um i have lost a couple of pounds uh and that's good i'm happy about that but we'll see you know as we go along i gotta look at the calendar and see what type of day it is hold on a second i'll check so today is a lean day i mean not a lean day today's a regular day it's supposed to be a one meal a day day. However, I think it's going to be a two meal a day day today for me. Uh, I'm going to do some boiled eggs this morning. When I get back to the house, I'm going to cook some bacon and take it with me to church. So I'll have probably eggs and bacon for breakfast. Um, and then I'll have a big meal at lunchtime. And that will be my, my eating day. We're going to go out to dinner. Uh, I think we're going to go to Black Rock. So, have steak on a stone. Um, I really feel like I should bring my butter with me. Though, I think their butter was butter. But, you know, they just give you such a little bit of it. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, we'll see what happens. I don't know. We're going to 
go out to dinner today. It's Sunday. We almost always go out to dinner on Sunday. So, and I like Black Rock because, you know, it's just a piece of meat on a stone, which is nice. Um, so, it's going to be, for me today, it's going to be a two meal, two meals day. Uh, one small meal in the morning and then another meal for lunch. And then I'll start my fasting app. So, um, today I will also put in the show notes the next week's plan for the week. I need to go to the store and buy some more sardines because I don't like those little tiny ones. Oh, they're too slimy or something. Not a fan. So, um, I'm going to get some more fillets. So, I'll run out to the store and get some of those uh, so that I can have that for my lean day, which is, I think, Tuesday. Oh, boy. Another week. Yeah. So, how are you guys doing on this? Is it hard? Is it easy? How are you finding it? Are you enjoying it? Um, for the most part, I am enjoying it. Uh, I definitely am enjoying these morning walks. And um, although right now my itching is starting, ugh, it's the worst. It's the absolute worst. I can feel it all down my sides, across my abdomen. Ugh, it's the pits. I do not like that feeling. So, definitely not a fun thing. So, again, if anybody knows what that is, something, somebody said it's like a, the dilation, some kind of dilation, or I'm like, maybe I'm having an allergic reaction to walking. Ugh. I did the same thing a little bit yesterday, but today it's starting earlier. So, you know, I'm not going to let it stop me. I'm just going to walk through it and hopefully eventually it'll stop doing that. Um, yes. Burn the, maybe it's just burning fat off my body. And that would be amazing if it's just burning the fat off. <laughs> but that itchy feeling, it's torture. It is torture. My gosh. It's the absolute pits. So... That's a thing. Good morning. It's Sunday morning. I'm making my coffee. Here we go. Put some collagen. You guys can hear the coffee making in the background. Got my Keto Brains Nootropic. Taking my vitamin D this morning. Get that out. And fill it up halfway, and we're going to froth it. is this morning is uh, Sunday so I'm gonna make the kids some boiled eggs and I'm gonna make some bacon uh, because it's first Sunday so we do not have our uh, Sunday morning coffee bar so I will just make them something to eat before we go Texas Roadhouse. 
We're gonna ready it. What are you gonna have? Uh, I have no idea yet. There's a lot of um things that I can get. Okay. Maybe I'll just stick with water. For now. A what? Water. There's water. Okay. I'm having a steak. <laughs> So we just came from dinner. We went to Texas Roadhouse and I had an 18 ounce ribeye. It was really, really good. But did you guys notice something about my um, breakfast this morning? I didn't even realize that I added eggs to my breakfast until way later today, like after church. <laughs> I was thinking about, you know, what did I have to eat today? And I had bacon and two boiled eggs and I'm not supposed to be having eggs this month. It totally slipped my mind this morning. Like it wasn't even a thing. I boiled the eggs, I ate two of them, and I just kept it moving. So that was kind of funny. I was like, oh my gosh. So I'm going to try to keep it in my mind that I'm not eating eggs this month. But that was so weird that I just went ahead and ate them without even thinking. So it's just how common it is for me to have eggs and bacon. I eat that all the time. So it was just like force of habit. Anyway, crazy, crazy, crazy. So um, this afternoon, um, right now my husband's running into Barnes and Noble to pick up something. Um, and then I gotta get home and take care of the dog. This afternoon, I am going to be um, live with Carrie Mann and G Brown. And we're making a big announcement by the time you guys see this tonight later tonight the announcement will not announcement will already be done so um you can check out that live stream uh that is going to be happening around 5 15 eastern time today and so if you've not seen that go check it out it's on my my channel g's channel and on carrie's channel so um really really exciting stuff so i hope you guys come and check that out or i hope you guys came and check that out so the other thing I wanted to mention is that I did a 15 minute arm workout. I actually uh, followed along with this lady that does the arm flab workout and I had her volume turned up at the beginning of the, um, at the beginning of the exercise. So I just wanted to see, what do you guys think? Do I need to redo that one and turn her all the way down and then just do the exercise? Uh, so anyway, I was thinking about that, but I wanted to put it out because I know um, a few people have been asking about like um, What is the arm challenge? So um, I wanted to go ahead and get that video out for you guys So let me know. Do you think I should redo it? Do you think I should continue to do that kind of content where I'm doing some kind of a workout? Um, and uh, Sharing that workout with you guys um so let me know because I do have some other workouts coming up. I'm going to be doing some additional Pilates type workouts. Um, that one just so happened I did it a few times. So I was able to make it all the way, almost all the way through without stopping. But that was like, I was pushing myself because I knew I was recording for you guys. Because I the last time I did it, I dropped my arms like 18 times throughout the whole thing. So um, just let me know what you guys think of that kind of content. Do you like it? Do you hate it? Is it interesting? Um, so let me know. Uh, I'm just waiting for the hubby to come out and um, I will come back and tell you guys what I'm getting up to. I'm done eating for the day. I just turned my fasting app on. It's like uh, three o'clock in the afternoon. So um, I won't be eating again until tomorrow because I did eat a huge steak. <laughs> it was very good. And um, also I want to let you guys know that I am, I am swapping kind of things around. Um, so today was supposed to be an OMAD day. I did not make it an OMAD day. 
tomorrow is a two mad day so I'm gonna definitely do a two mad tomorrow and then the next day is gonna be a um, a lean day so um, also tomorrow morning I'll be weighing in so in tomorrow's video um, I will be sharing how my weight did after the first week of the July challenge so we'll see we'll see how it went and um, you know it's, it seems like it's going pretty good uh, overall reduction in consumption seems to be going pretty good I feel okay um, I still feel tired tired so um, like I said when I was on uh, the lion diet before I was very tired after the first couple of weeks I was like I did not feel good so um, it could be that I'm staying up too late or it could be that, um, you know, I don't know, I'm just tired. So um, we'll see how it goes over the next couple of weeks. Uh, whether, I'm not doing a true lion anyway, I'm doing sea lion and then I'm also adding bacon. And today I added eggs, surprisingly, that was crazy. So anyway, I'm gonna um, wrap this up at this point and then I'll come back later if I go take a walk, um, do my arm workout. That's one thing that I got to do today because I did not do it yesterday and I didn't do it the day before yesterday. So now today I have to do it. So I'm going to make sure that I get that done and I will share a little bit of that footage with you guys as well. All right. See you later. So these are called walnut crushers. Check it out. Elbows coming together. Don't let them separate, okay? Come together. Arms together. Now, we lift. We lift. We lift. This one's hard. Sink chin to nose. Chin to nose. Arms out. Whoa, man. Man in. I have to shout whoa because... This is called back behind. That's crazy. See? That's one now. We're going to lift up. Angel arms. The wrist to touch. You're gonna come you down. see how she's stopping? Have you put your arms down yet? She's cheating, I will. Not. Ready? Here it is. Up and down. And Angel lift. arms. Your shoulders are gonna be so <laughs> and down. Push your palms to the back. Oh my okay, gosh. So this is I'm like learning so much right now. We're gonna do palm back. Palm legs. back. Now, pulses. pinkies to the ceiling. Pinkies. And up. Oh, oh man. Wow. I feel that. Oh, now, triangle like, pushes. Ah, okay. Together, uh, point your fingers together. We're gonna do is press, press. This is for triceps. So oh, good. good. Bringing those arms up. Here we go. Down, up, down, up. Your goal is to keep the elbows right. in Robot line with your shoulders. Okay. Down, out, in, and up. Goal Close. post out, punches. In and up. Down, out. Oh my God, my shoulders. Here we go. Oh, we're in the last Bring move. Palms up and lift. And Roof lift. razors. So ears okay. and up. How long are you doing? Do it okay? I'm yeah. trying to do, I do, do the roof razor like the way she's doing it. And then and I do one arm at a time up to the sky. because it's so hard. Oh my goodness. And it will look crazy. How do your arms feel? <laughs> Crazy. Stretch your arms right out. But you guys, Hold it like this. Okay, so we'll Give see. it a hug. Oh man. Then give the other good. one a hug. Feeling strong. Now I Stretch them out. I'm feeling strong because from my you've been the pausing the video. In one trip. Um, and then but actually, I've been like buying flex. a lot of groceries at once. Look at there. Like three or four. Yeah. I'm so sorry, you guys. Flex. I know I want to do it in one, but I just can't sometimes. Sometimes I just like. It's better looking than it was when I first started. All right, you guys, there it is. The 15 minute arm, arm burnout challenge. How was your day? Good. What'd you do today? Um, wait, what? What did you do today? I'm <laughs> sorry. Um, I went to church, had a really good day. Okay. Saw my cousins once again. Yeah. Uh, I mean, Cache gave me a fleshy, which is why my lips and tongue are all red. Let's cross over here. Oh. Uh huh. And and now I'm spending time on my grandparents. <laughs>
Which I'm also excited for tomorrow. Okay. What now? Uh, I'm also really excited for tomorrow because tomorrow is the first day of school. Which means we have some enrichment. And it's a two week thing which we learn. And the more we learn, the more we get points. But I don't think we should have a story because kids get rewarded more than enough. So I guess we should just learn. Okay. That's what you think? Yeah, because we get a fun trip at the end. Yep. Where are you going at the end? We're going to Michigan Adventures. Yay. That's going to be fun. Yep. I'm going. Yes. Yay. My battery is dying, but it's the end of the day, and I just wanted to say... Uh, Devin, day seven down. I just got out of off of my live stream with Kiri and G Brown, and we are hosting a nationwide fundraiser. I'm gonna put the information for that in the show notes. If you think that you want to be a uh, team lead for a car wash as part of the nationwide car wash to support the Healing Humanity documentary, please click the link that's in the show notes and um, sign up and we would love to have you partner with us. All right, you guys, I hope you have a great day. Bye.